Sagittarius, this is uh, Soul, and this is going to be your general forecast uh, reading for the week of June 27th through July 4th, 2016. All right, so let's get right into your messages, uh, Sagittarius. Uh, for some Sagittarians that I'm reading for, you have the potential of dealing with the energy of the Prince of Wands, which is a good card to get, and it's in the upright. So this here. Okay, let me get, let me just focus here for a second. All right, since it's in the upright, I normally like to draw in past energy. So there may have been something new uh, that was initiated or started either by you. Uh, this could be, you know, in terms of a, a new relationship because this is a general reading. So I'm going to cover all areas and aspects of your uh, life and try to broaden the messages the best that I can for you. So, but because it's showing up in the upright, I'm getting information already that there was uh, a Sagittarius or two that I'm reading for that that started something new in terms of a relationship. This new energy also um, relates to, uh, it could be a de new development with a friendship. This also could uh, relate to the energy of a new job something that's uh, close, personal, or significant to you. Now, this energy, uh, even though I read for the past, is still part of your reading for this upcoming week, so that's the energy still being carried over as the initiation of something new. And those messages that I just said to you uh, still apply for this upcoming week, either a new job, a new relationship, or something started or initiated uh, other than a relationship or a friendship something going on in the family structure. Um, the wands represent um, fire energy. So this could be uh, in terms of a relationship that some of you are connecting with or have connected with another fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, male or female. And then also too, it's a physical card. So it's um, a situation in terms of a development of a friendship or a new relationship It started quickly for you. Or it's the emphasis of just the newness. I'm just getting that something new or something being initiated um, with Sagittarians this upcoming week and then past energy. Okay, so this is good energy for some of you. And if you had noticed, the knight or the prince um, has a heart. So this is where I'm getting the relationship aspect that there's something new coming your way for the single Sagittarians. Okay. And it could be, uh, with another fire sign. It doesn't necessarily have to be a direct fire sign. They could have fire, you know, sign elements in their birth chart. And also it could be just with any sign. Okay. So just keep that in mind, but something new is coming and it's coming in quick because the wands represents physical movements for me and it's in the upright. So that's, a, you know, even more positive. OK. Um, and then the prince represents. Like the page, the newness. OK, the pages usually uh, represent the offer. And then the next step is the prince or the princess. And that's the newness or the initiation of. OK, now, even more so, we have the queen of swords in the um two week yesterday to two week period but it's still part of your reading so the energy still carries through for you so this is a positive uh card of energy in the upright so that means uh there may have been a newness of a relationship as i mentioned before it could be a friendship uh, because this is a general reading i'm not focusing just on love and relationships and then it could have been a connect connection with an air sign gemini libra aquarius male or female the queen of uh, swords also could represent male energies too uh also too the queen represents the queen of sword represents uh decision making so there is some emphasis here that some sagittarians had to make a decision about something of importance because the queen and the king uh especially when it's the swords of decision making it was something important that's how i read the level of the energy uh something that you had to make a decision about something that may have been presented to you in the two-week period and again you have to attach or apply the messages that come forth to whatever 
it is or was that is close or personal to you. OK, but after, you know, making the decision, whatever what uh, was presented to you, there was a lot of determination behind that. So um, it may have been that you decided on something or something was presented to you and you made a decision, but you're uh, going to stick to that decision and that's coupled with uh, determination okay so this is a positive card and moving forward that same energy applies to you Sagittarius as being very determined this week and then having to make a decision about something that is uh, of importance and I regard the importance of something being high and close and personal to you so if it's related to a relationship again uh, you know friendship something going on in the family structure uh, it will present itself and then you will stick to that decision and be determined behind that. And it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, related to positive energy because that's not what I'm picking up. Anyway, even more so um, in terms of your energy to expect this week, we have the two of swords in the reverse. So that's all about that decision making. OK, the two of swords represents um, being at a crossroads, being uh, ambiguous about making the decision. And then also um, it relates to a level of, you know, anxiety, but I only see it as minor. So since it's in the reverse, which is even better, that means that by midweek, some of you have come to making a decision um, for whatever it is that comes to you and that's close and personal for you. And then you're no longer feeling like you're at a crossroads. OK, and also, this is related to air signs again. So the decision making might be uh, related to air energies, but it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, male or female. OK. And also, that's the de decrease of um, any anxiety that you may have experienced in terms of whatever was presented to you and having to make a decision. OK. Now, the tail end Friday going into the weekend, we have the Princess of Cups. Now, even though this Princess of Cups is in the reverse, as I mentioned before, as there's an initiation in terms of energy of something new or being started with Sagittarians, there could be an emphasis related to that, um, specifically a relationship there. I'm just getting this uh, energy and reading it as the emotional aspects that some of you may be uh, dealing with in terms of a relationship and it may be connected to someone new. OK, but it's not your energy. It's their energy. It's their energy of being um, somewhat emotional. Um, and then I'm getting a emphasis of immaturity with this as well. But I'm not even though it's in the reverse, I'm not getting too much negative connotations associated with this card it's just that someone's going to come across as being emotionally upset um it could be the sagittarius or two that i'm reading for that are you know is currently dating or in a relationship with a water sign it doesn't necessarily have to be a direct water sign as i always say it could be that they have water elements in their birth chart okay and it's something uh because it is the princess is something newly developed in terms of the emotional uh stuff related to them uh so maybe friday going into the weekend you know you're dealing with individuals and this could be energy related to the family or it could be just a friendship that's coming across as being um, you know someone emotional but again it's not related or tied into your energy it's just them in general so the reason why i'm saying this is because it shows up in your reading so you may deal with an individual as the um Prince of Wands and the Princess of Cups represent actual people for me. OK, so it might be something going on in the family. And there's a child that comes across as being somewhat emotionally upset, could be a friend. And it also could be somebody that you work with. So just keep that in mind. But I'm not affixing a, a any other um, energy associated with Sagittarians becoming emotionally upset or disappointed, although that could be. I just feel that if you're in a relationship or if you're in a dating scenario with someone, it's just their energy and not yours. So it's not something that, you know, for you to worry about, because the emphasis of your reading here, uh, for the most part, is more positive than anything with the uh, Prince of Wands showing up. And that's the initiation and the start of something new, whether uh, whatever it is that's close or personal or significant to you. 
and then the queen having to make a decision, um, possibly about a relationship, the newness of a relationship, and then being determined midweek, having to not be, uh, you know, sitting at crossroads or feeling like you're at a crossroads and making the decision. It's in the reverse. The two of swords shows up in the reverse. And like I said, some of this energy may be related to air signs. It may be related to fire signs like yourself. And then it also um, come in with the energy of water. The only uh, energy that I'm not feeling right now is earth, but it doesn't necessarily mean that none of you are dealing with earth energies. It's just that I'm getting the emphasis, the stronger emphasis with the uh, water, uh, air and fire such as yourself. So all in all, I feel it's very positive uh, for you. Sagittarians, the biggest and greatest emphasis is something new starts, something comes in quickly, something is initiated. So whatever that is, like I said before, and that's close and significant to you, then that's the messages that I have for you. Okay, so that's your reading and the messenger of Oracle card that I have selected for you, Sagittarius, is you were born to create. And the message for you with you were born to create is. You were blessed with the ability to create with thought, intention, action, and emotion. Be conscious of your power and aware of what your actions and reactions create within and around you. Cherish this gift and use it in both a wise and productive manner. Create beauty and inspire a desire within others to do the same. Create a future that both fulfills and delights. Do what you were born to do. Okay, so this is a, a, a very powerful message for you, Sagittarian. Uh, and then also, as before, if the above reading doesn't resonate with you, then, you know, I draw them uh, Oracle cards because there may be a message in there that will resonate with you and vice versa. Okay, Sagittarians, once again, I want to thank you for visiting my channel. Uh, I do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead and also happy 4th of July and make it a safe one and until the next time because I feel it's positive energy for you this week I wish you all love and light take care Sagittarius bye